how are you doing today hope you have been keeping great i'm super super excited to be back on your screen and i sincerely apologize for the past month that i have not posted any video um yeah until we get on this platform you never know you know it's just been a learning curve for me you know when i initially started i had all these great ideas and i still do you know but i didn't anticipate how much um i was going to struggle with time um because i mean i've got a nine to five i've also got some hustles that i you know use to, I, I use my weekends for so it, it just the reality just set in that you know the, the weekends were not just enough to run around take care of the home try to do one or two things together also sit down to film a video and also edit so i just got caught up in the struggle at a time i just had to you know take some time to re-strategize and you know just you know just replan on how i'm going to do it but yeah i am super excited that i'm able to be back and um, i'm really just praying that god sustains this momentum i am all positive and yeah just shout out to all the youtubers and content creators who spend time to put out videos daily weekly you guys are super you know this is a full-time job in case you didn't know so if you're planning to come on to youtube well it really depends on the genre of what you're doing um yeah but for me i have just realized that if you have to be able to if i have to be able to um meet up the demands of videos you know and put out videos regularly on the regular it's really time taking and i can only plead you know just support me in all you can and um, if you don't see a video in one week just know that you know it's not intentional and um, but i'm really going to try to um see how i can get this going weekly you know so yeah thank you so much for for you know keeping up with me thank you for tuning in to this video so yeah this is the look Today I was able to create this look for you. I hope. <laughs> and uh, pardon this hair. This is a really lovely hair. I've been, it, in fact, if you know me, those who know me know I'm not a curly hair person. I've never even owned a curly hair. This is my first curly hair, and <laughs> I've been acting like a kid uh, at Christmas since when I got this hair. You know. It's, it's really nice. I literally just took it out of the pack and put it on my head. I, I, I forgot to, you know, use some uh, spray conditioners on it. But yeah, it's really nice. I run my fingers through it and there's absol absolutely, absolutely no fallout, absolutely no shedding, none whatsoever. And um, yeah, I just thought I should put this on you know just get the sassiness on you know we are all growing up so all this madameness has to start setting in and um yeah i'm really liking what i look like with a coily hair and um i'm thinking i'll probably do more curly hair so but yeah i'll leave the, the, the I'll, leave, I'll leave the link to this hair in the description um, below and I made this wig myself so yeah this should be a whole video on its own so fingers crossed I'll be able to film that and yeah so so pause if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button and yeah you can hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos tell your friend tell your friend that Idara girl is on YouTube yeah so Please subscribe to the channel and support your girl. Um, I hope you enjoy the process of getting my face to look like this. I've never used a black eyeshadow on my face. Um, so this was the first time for me and I kind of like how it turned out. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this 
this glam just stay tuned and i will see you in my next video you have a beautiful day So I've gone ahead to do um, the basis for my skin work which was clean my face uh, with micellar water and put on some oil and um, facial oil um, just to uh, help moisturize uh, as far as I'm concerned it's absolutely optional um, and then I went ahead to prime my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Primer and then I sprayed on setting spray and I also use the L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. All of these combined together is just going to give my face a, a, a nice canvas for the foundation to glide on. And today it's all about, in fact, I'm a self-proclaimed L'Oreal ambassador and if you haven't tried, it, I mean, all of L'Oreal's foundations are um, super really super i love i love the true match and um, foundations they are super super nice super blendable they come out very beautiful but um if you haven't tried any of their foundations yet um, and you're still deciding i would highly recommend these ones <laughs> see i got them so it's the um infallible 24 hours uh foundation matte cover it is super super nice i'm not even going to talk too much about it just watch and see what this foundation does to the face is so i'm going to be using uh, two shades for my face so it's the shade cacao and mocha here in the uk that's what stock so you see 370 and then you see 385 I'm thinking they should be like a 375 and a 380 but we don't have those here so um, maybe I would have been one of those shades in between but since we don't have those here I have to improvise so what I plan to do is or what I have been doing because I've used it before and it was really really nice on the face what I plan to do is use um, the cacao all over my face and then I'll just touch um, the high points of my face with mocha because mocha is more yellow toned and cacao is more red toned and um, yeah the two of them should give me a beautiful finish I'm not using a lot though so maybe two two pumps two and a half pumps should be so guys this is supposed to be oh lord look how red I look but don't worry we'll fix that so this is me going to go over with cacao. It's so hard to do, you know, I have tried. This is going to be my second um, talk to tutorial video. And the first one was, oh God, it's easier to just get your makeup done and then talk. But this is supposed to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. And, um, um, I have to do that so please pardon me I'm sure I'll get into the chit chat mood in a bit maybe while I'm blending hmm. okay so to conceal my face I'm going to be using uh, L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealers with the shades Honey and Espresso. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll go ahead and do a, a contour, a cream contour. I was thinking of maybe just using powder to contour, but yeah, I'll just go ahead. So I'm just going to put a few dabs underneath the eyes.
This is in the L'Oreal. I'm so into L'Oreal. Everything is. So I'm using the Laura Mercier to set my under eyes. Okay, but yeah, I have concealed, you know, um, highlighted, sorry, the bridge of my nose and my forehead, and I'm just blending any harsh line with the side in which I used to blend my foundation. Just <sighs> there you go. Oh. You know what? I, in fact, I've just been thinking while I was testing this face like that. Look, you can't do this get ready with me chit chat. You can't do the chit chat part. So, um, I'm thinking I'll probably do another video with this makeup um, where I'll just, uh, you know, just sit down and talk. Hopefully, um, I'm able to do a lot of talking then. So maybe we'll just keep this as a get ready with me and then um, so so nobody's confusing herself as I'm speaking about myself now because I'm in total confusion if I tell you I'm talking and then I, I'm thinking what next to do or next to do. I really need to practice the chit chat part of this get ready with me chit chat. So um so now that I have set the bridge of my nose, my forehead, I'm going to go ahead to contour my nose. Um, I use a nose contour brush. So what I did was just take a bit of the concealer in the brush and I'm going to use that to um, contour. Look, there is no Makeup is what it is. I mean, it's, 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 it's just the art, you know, there's really no right or wrong. There's no... I mean, there are ways in which you can do stuff and, you know, you get, like, different kind of results. But you should try out what way works for you, what way, you know, is convenient for you. When I'm doing, like, cream contours like this, I'm never always very happy because okay. and let's find the other side and then we blend. Okay, it doesn't need to get um any tool that works best for you but I would highly recommend you get a good brush set I think the nose control when crooked but <laughs> what have you done? I'm not really a contour a nose contour person like personally I mean I can do it on on clients, but personally, I don't really, you know, I, I, I really love makeup that uh, is subtle, that just enhances you. That's my personal preference for makeup. That's why, like I said, there's no right or wrong. There, there are supposed to be no rules, really, no rules to you. So I personally wear makeup really when it's necessary. I hardly even wear makeup uh, most times except it's absolutely necessary. And uh, when I do, I always like it subtle. You know, so contouring the nose is really not one of those things. Same with, uh, well, maybe when I get there we'll say, but nose contour is not, not one of my 40s. I'm going to set the nose contour with the L'Oreal with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hours fresh wear these things are something else <laughs> if you've not used them before I am going to warn and advise whenever you're wanting to use them you have to be very careful especially this dark shade 
because it's highly pigmented it's supposed it's a foundation to a foundation in a powder that's what it's called so it's mainly uh, foundation to powder so it has much more pigment than a regular powder would do to control the parameters of my face I'm going to Oh God, it's dancing. Sorry. I'm going to just use um, a powder contour and I'm still using the same L'Oreal Infallible Matte. This is in the shade um, Deep Amber and it's really deep. I was going to show you, so I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Perfect Match Minerals. Uh, powder in the shade translucent so that's why I hope to use all over my face I'm going to be using the L'Oreal skinny definer skinny brow oh I've got it all wrong okay so it's a skinny definer brow artist in the shade ebony This is a brow tint from Primark, but I just want it to be to be light on the sun, just lightly. I'm brushing it in, in between my brows. Hey, I did. You know, while I was doing this makeup, it just crossed my mind that yeah, when I'm done this makeup, I have to wear my wig. And I totally forgot. I was telling myself that when I sit down, I'm going to, you know, announce the fact that I am loving my, you know, my um, short hair, my short 4C. I'm really, really enjoying it this summer period because look, I can't even begin to deal with the heat waves that the heat waves that. We've been having this past few days and the fact that i'm able to you know just pour it stand in the shower and just pour in as much water as i want on my hair on my head is it's simply breeze you know sometimes the heat just gets on you and all you just want to do is, and this is right now the blessing for me the short hair the elf camo concealer in the shade Hmm, so um because this is the skin first method um, I'm going to use the barest minimum to outline my brows because you don't want to put in too much concealer and then you can't uh, you can't blend it out so I will And I'm blending out immediately with a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be using a large shader brush and a shader brush. And first off, I am going to define the brow bone. I think I didn't blend out my brow bone well. well. Let's see what happens with okay. You see, that's it when you're making up. You make happy mistakes. <laughs> you make happy mistakes. As is, I can't go back, and that's the thing with concealers, especially this concealer. When it dries down, even to take it out, you need like waterproof makeup remover to be able to take out all of these things. Or so very good micellar water. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to work with it as is because there's no time. So 
Little Match Shadows both for the crease and, um, and the brow bone. I'm, I'm totally going to be using matte colors for this look. Mm, I just hope it comes out the way I envision it to <laughs> because I've not done this look before myself. I'm using a darker plum shade. What's the shade called? That's the thing because the shade names are underneath Jax. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. I think it's a short form for her name. So J A C Z Jax. So it's an intense. Mm berry color I see I need that, this intensity on the crease because of what I plan to do hopefully it works mm. and I'm going to put on a yellow shade over it which right now I think is a mistake but we will make it work because <laughs> I should have tried out this look first but hey that's what I mean I'm sure I'm sure we get somewhere with this blend 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 more intensity So I'm going to bring that uh, berry color all the way, like actually use it to create uh, my first layer of eyeshadow. I was thinking if to use a spray, a spray board, let me see, let me just put it on, on my see. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Okay, okay, look. I think it's looking pretty. Oh, I was really hoping to use this my nose uh, contour brush. To I forgot that I used it for the for the concealer. Okay, let me use this one. Let me put a bit of the yellow shade. See, there is no right or wrong, you know, just enjoy your palette. This is this is the artist in me coming out. You know, while while I was growing up, in fact I still have it in me. There's so many things I need to harness. Like if they are sleeping, they need to wake up. I used to enjoy drawing, painting, coloring, you know, all of those sort of things while I was growing up 
and occasionally I find myself doing them even it's the, it's in fact it's the reason why I fell in love with makeup just it's just the fact that colors can change change you can change stuff you know so now my eye eyeshadow palettes are like my color palettes but really I should do something with that part of me I shouldn't just go to sleep so for today I'm not going to line my waterline because I want to save myself this the struggle of you know struggling with the sensitivity of my waterline um, and yeah that should go for anybody if, you, if you've tried and you think your your um, water lines are sensitive really if you can get by um, you can try different products you can try gel liner you can try pencils call pencils you can try um, you know just try different things there are so many so many options for lining the eyes in the market um, or in this in the drugstores you can just try different things to see what works for your eyes so if you're really into lining but if you're not really into it, you shouldn't really bother because I mean at the end of the day you need to be able to see these are your eyes so if they don't like something don't put them there okay so going forward for the for my cheeks, I'm going to be using Slick. I'm going to be using the Slick Block. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Slick Blush in the shade Slim Thick. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Becca highlighter in Gold Lava. I should have used the L'Oreal Glow Motion. Glow. <laughs> glow more and more. This is a very beautiful liquid highlighter and um, it's really nice if you put it on your skin before you put your foundation over so you can see it like okay because I've never tried it on <laughs> so this is a beautiful makeup look doesn't go up. I've never tried it on after I have done the foundation but I have done it before um, the foundation and it usually comes up very beautiful so I'll just stick to what I planned earlier lately I've seen that you can even blush the nose oh my god makeup is ever evolving you know I'm going to try to do it I really think I need a bit more color on the cheek so I'm going to go in with sleek and flushed mm -hmm. oh, I like it So I'm going in with my master chrome in mountain gold. something at the corner of my eyes yes no yes no yes no no yes uh -huh. no I'll just leave it as is so now to the fun part the struggle with lashes <laughs> alright 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 oh I don't know if I'm the only makeup artist that struggles like I have I think I'll, I've not I've not tried the the um, glue pens yet. Maybe that might be my saving grace. So I will try those. Mm. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, oh my god, this was really one eternity later. I really struggle with lashes. Bourgeois, lip, uh, what do they call them? Lip is in feeling matte and oh no, I got the <laughs> feeling matte is the finish. Matte finish, sorry. So in chocolate corset and honeymoon. Nice. I use it as well. Mmm, I love it. Mm. I'm going to use the Primark uh, Club. <laughs> uh, the Claire bra oh god so the Claire brow gel in in, in Claire I'm going to use that to further define the strands of my brows before I set my entire face that is all done finally I actually really like the lips even though um, they have a Mmm, that, that was too much. So yes, 